Hey guys, welcome to the Get Arc Nerd series. What happened here is I logged in and they were breaking in. They were busting in and you know, I, I, I just got up here and looked and stuff was all crazy. So I started making bullets, kind of looking around for them, stuff like that. I see there's stegos in my base and stuff. And uh, pretty much what they're doing is just trying to, you know, to break into the top of my base and to, you know, get in from behind and just blow all this stuff up and get it, get in and out without the loot. What happened is, I guess a server glitched and the gasoline in my generators out front disappeared, so my turrets went down. But they still had to blow the turrets up on top. So I'm kind of waiting for them to come back right now. So right now, I'm just trying to assess the situation, see what's going on. Uh, you know, get my bullets and stuff ready in the turret filler and all that type of stuff. In about a minute and a half, they try to fly in. And, uh... You know, luckily I logged in whenever I did, because they just started. They had to have just started, like, 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes beforehand. Because all they did was break in through the top, and they, uh, rocket ran my door right here. And that's the only way I can see them doing that. Or maybe they did it from the inside. I'm not sure. Yeah, it had to do with the inside. You see the darkened panels right there. But, uh... I'm waiting for them to come in. I'm trying to get some things to, uh, you know get my defenses right. Obviously this tur turret filler. Anything that might be destroyed like a Jenny or something like that. Get my gasoline and pretty much just bolster the defenses because I don't know how many of them there are. You know, later found out, you know, there's three or four of them and stuff like that. But, uh, in the end I, I thwart them off and I get them uh, you know, to back off. And then later on and I'll show that in the next part of the video series. Uh, we actually go and we take out their whole entire base, which is pretty rewarding. So yeah, watch the video, hope you enjoy it, and uh, let me know if you have any comments or uh, any tips or something like that. I'm pretty new to ARC, I've been playing for about a week and a half, two weeks now, so I've had the uh, benefit of learning from the guys that are pretty experienced, but you know, any comments or any of that stuff is uh, definitely helpful. funny because the whole entire time we were raiding their base later, all these dudes are online and none of them actually uh, try to defend or any of that stuff. Here's a glitch too on Valgar if you didn't know about it, if you have your base in the ruins where mine's at. If you go over there to the right too far, it actually will spawn you up top. It's really annoying. Now what I should be doing is doing what I'm, I think I'm doing right now and building this wall, you know, and stuff like that, but never really defended from a raid solo before so it's all a learning process but definitely helped out I learned a lot from this whole entire experience and I hope you do too if you haven't had the experience yeah so keep watching let me know what you think
Holy shit, what just happened there? Didn't even see this dude. Now I'm worried about my turrets. Stuff like that. Trying to make sure I got enough ammo. I'm, I'm gonna probably look for some gear to put on finally. <laughs> I don't think I have any on. I finally realized it. You know what? I got some pretty decent stuff over here. This is just one of our uh, other bases, too. You know, it's not our main base, but it's the one that I hang out at the most. I enjoy the location. Being off over here hanging out, so I'm gonna defend it.
Another thing about this base location I didn't know. You can't obviously play C4 now. It's not gonna blow any of these things up at all. They were just like hanging out right here. What I should have done is taken the chainsaw and just started cutting them up as I knew I could get back here. You know, because obviously they got on that tech stego. If they, if they did get in, they got on the tech stego or dropped another one. Stuff like that. Uh, it could have been a lot different. I definitely had the upper hand, but I think I caught it right the right time to where they were just trying to get in. Maybe they goofed up trying to soak the turrets on the inside with the golem and the uh, the other tech stego, and they were going to kind of try to soak and just blow stuff up, but they got killed by other turrets they couldn't see. Lessons learned, right?
about this time I realized that they've kind of given up. So I'm gonna get more confident in, you know, building back the base, and I'm gonna, you know, go ahead and take out whatever they've got in my base without worrying about getting sniped from above or any of that stuff. And, you know, just rebuild the structure and uh, continue on and plan the revenge. Obviously, I know they have a fob out there because they've been spawning back in here pretty quickly. But I think either they just rage quit or, you know, just realized it just wasn't worth it and just uh, take their losses and keep moving. So, uh, with that, it's the end of the video. I appreciate you watching. If you liked it, drop a like. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. I uh, post videos da daily and weekly of uh, you know various games. Right now, I've been playing Ark a lot, so you're gonna see a lot of Ark content. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Bye bye.